When you talk about legendary and iconic whitetails, the John Breen buck isn't one that rolls off most people's tongues. But those who do mention it, consider it to be the most beautiful 10-pointer of all time. Coming in at an official Boone and Crockett net score of 202 inches, it's a far cry from being the biggest typical of all time. But comparing frames side by side, it's super easy to see why so many folks consider it in the conversation with the greatest typicals of all time. History was made back in 1918 in the small Minnesota town of Funkley, less than 100 miles south of the Canadian border. On a cold November day, John ventured out from his hometown of Bemidji via train with his rifle and hunting gear in hopes of a successful whitetail hunt. What happened that day will forever be etched into whitetail history. The story goes something like this. While on stand with his 30-30, John witnessed several deer passing by, which turned out to be a group of does being chased by a buck. As John raised his rifle and squeezed off around, he saw a second buck with a ginormous rack coming through the woods. John quickly changed his aim on the bigger buck and shot. Whether or not the first buck was hit, we don't know, but the ginormous racked white tail, now known as a John Breen buck, was fatally hit. Due to the lack of infrastructure at that time, it took John two days to return home with the deer, navigating by train to Bemidji and then horse and wagon to actually get the deer back to his home. A legendary whitetail quote from John's son Ray, who was only 12 at the time, remembers the commotion the giant deer caused. When he got the buck home, everybody came by to see it. The rack was so big that even then, in those days, everybody knew it was something special. The rack was actually so wide, we had a hard time getting it through the front door of the house. Dad knew this buck was really unusual, and he was awful proud of it. After much deliberation, he decided to have it mounted. He sent the antlers over to a taxidermist in Duluth, a man named Story. Mr. Story took one look at those antlers and offered him 50 bucks cash. Now, $50 was a lot of money back in those days, probably equal to about half a month's wages, but Dad turned him down instantly. The deer meant that much to him. He was a big old body deer, and I remember people saying that he weighed over 200 pounds. With John passing away in 1947 at the age of 81, he unfortunately did not get to see the advent of Boone and Crockett's modern day scoring system and the acceptance of a new world record typical whitetail. At the urging of friends and locals, the family decided to have the buck officially scored by the club when it then became the world record typical with a net score of 202 inches, making it the largest typical whitetail buck ever harvested, at least until the James Jordan buck in 1968. Through the years, the Breen family was contacted by several different collectors, museums, and whitetail enthusiasts who all offered to buy the buck. Knowing how much that deer meant to John, the family turned down those offers to keep the deer in northern Minnesota. After all, the buck still, to this day, is the largest typical whitetail to ever be harvested in the state of Minnesota. In 1970, Dr. Chuck Arnold, a Boston dentist and collector, reached out to the Breen family for a second time to again express interest in purchasing the whitetail. Knowing that the family held the deer close for sentimental reasons, he promised the purchase wasn't about self-gloating, but more about allowing more people to see the buck and giving the recognition that John would want. Dr. Arnold promised to take exceptional care of the deer and keep his word. And he did just that. By chance, the John Breen buck ended up in the hands of Keith Snyder, a world-known whitetail collector. Keith's collection was featured on Whitetail Cribs, where the Exodus team was fortunate enough to put their hands on the John Breen buck. Keith, a true whitetail historian, knew everything about the deer. This is one of my favorite deer of all time. This is the John Breen buck from 1918 in Minnesota. He's got big sled sweeping beams and most people refer to him to the most beautiful 10 pointer ever. This again is one of Klaus's replicas. It cannot be bought. It's in Bass Pro Shops. Again, Klaus spent six, seven days to color this, put it on $1,500 mount and uh, gave me the opportunity to put it in my collection. And these were his personal pieces of artwork that were in his house. So I feel very privileged to have that in my collection also. It's one of my favorite deer of all time. And Some interesting facts about the John Breen buck. Its gross typical frame scored 215 and 0 eighths inches. Six small abnormal points kept this buck from being the world record. Without those points, the buck would have a net score of approximately 210 inches. The main beams measure 31 and 2 eighths and 31 inches in length. The antlers carry six inch base measurements and a spread of 26 and 7 eighths. What makes this rack so special is that the time length and real estate of this whitetail's frame is second to none.